Hello, my bookish friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to talk about the importance of vulnerability in storytelling. One of my favorite book scenes of all time is in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. When he's in Dumbledore's office and they're talking about the prophecy, the prophecy that states that neither shall live while the other survives. Dumbledore explains that the details in the prophecy apply to Harry, but they also apply to Neville. It's the moment when Harry finally realized what being the chosen one will actually mean for him. He's going to die. He's meant to die. And Harry's reaction in this moment is profoundly vulnerable. But he might have chosen wrong, said Harry. He might have marked the wrong person. You can feel the desperation from Harry in this moment. He is grasping for the smallest hope the littlest thread of light that might change the world so that it doesn't mean that he is inevitably marching toward his own death. They were wrong. It's all wrong. It has to be wrong. It's a moment that encapsulates one of the most brilliant aspects of these books. Harry didn't want it. He didn't want any of it. He was lauded admired, loved, put up on a pedestal, but none of that did him any good because he was still just a motherless, fatherless kid who had no choice but to rise up so that he could protect himself and those that he loved. No mask, no cape, no victory laps. At the end of each year, instead he ends up either in the infirmary or with dead friends or both. Harry has greatness thrust upon him, and sometimes he bears that weight with his head held high and with immense strength. Other times, it leaves him broken and crying, whether in Dumbledore's office or over a dead friend's body. And isn't that a lesson to be learned? Greatness doesn't mean being strong all the time. It just means putting one foot in front of the other. Because whether we're motivated by duty or or love, or simply our own moral compass, we should never have to walk through this life alone. That's one of the many reasons why we read books, to connect with characters who know something better than we do, who've experienced something that might help us to walk through our own life. If books don't contain characters who make emotional connections with other characters, then the story's always going to fall flat. Human connection is necessary, and it enriches our lives. And if our characters don't have that throughout their books, there's an isolation there that isn't satisfying. Of course, isolation can be used to build a character. That's what Harry had. He was isolated. He was unwanted. He didn't have those meaningful connections. And the reason we all love the books isn't just because of the good versus evil triumph. It's because he finds friends. He rises up and he finds people around him who understand him and who appreciate him. And we all need that in our lives. And so do our characters. So if you're out there writing a book or reading a story, pay attention to the character's vulnerability. Being strong all the time tends to get boring. Same with being weak all the time. There has to be a balance. There has to be growth. There has to be highs and lows that pull a reader through a story. So what do you guys think? What are some of the great, profound, vulnerable moments that you found in books that have pulled you through it and stuck with you after all this time? Drop a comment below. And as always, if you'd like to support me, please, please like and subscribe to my channel and go check out the other stuff that's there, whether it's writing tips or just funny stuff. And if you're interested in the Just Ella audiobook, it's in a chapter by chapter playlist on my channel.